one of the big principles, I would say possibly the, the number one principle of investing is to spread your bets. Uh, I always say to people, don't ever put all of your money in one thing. Don't even put all of your money into one asset class. And as you know, an asset class is a, a type of investment. So really, ideally, you should have some money in pensions, some money in stocks and shares, ideally wrapped in an ISA so you don't have to pay tax, um, some money in property, maybe that your own property. You can have money in, in collections, Barbie dolls, you know, handbags, whatever. Um, but spread it across different types of of investments. Thankfully, now, finally, um, there is some sort of teaching in schools in personal finance. How good it is, I don't know, but at least it's a start. But that means that we have tens of millions of adults in this country who've had no training at all, but increasingly are being given responsibility for their current and future financial situation. One of the biggest myths uh, around savings and investments particularly is that in order to make money, in order to get rich in the long term, have good investments, you have to start off with a lot of money. This is totally wrong. Do something regular and, and automate your investments. So for example, if you're thinking, oh, I really, really want to do some saving, I want to do some investing, but I just don't have the money at the end of the month. Nobody has money at the end of the month. What you need to do is set up a standing order at the beginning of the month. Pay yourself, pay your future self first. And then after a while, you learn to live on, on less money, but you're looking after your future self bit by bit, you're increasing it. And you don't, you're not waiting for your current self to go, oh, all right, then go on, I'll give a bit of money. And you, you, it's done for you. You don't even have to think.